Previously on Rob and Sherry, they run up to Lake Powell and prepare the boat for the three-day weekend coming up with their grandkids. In this episode, you'll see the grandkids and all the family enjoying Lake Powell from the boat, and you get a look at the famous Antelope Slot Canyon Tour. Hey everyone, this is Robin Sherry from Outdoor Travel Channel. This weekend we're going to uh, Lake Powell again. Paige. <laughs> Paige. So this is a little different. We're not staying in the boat, we're staying in motels at Paige. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's kind of exciting is we're uh, uh, our grandkids, our kids, and my son-in-law are coming along. And we might get a little bit of fishing in too, so uh, uh, we're kind of excited about that. But the, the youngest one is four years old, mm -hmm. and he got a new fishing pole, and he's kind of excited about that. So it'll be interesting if we get some shots of that. Now, I want to kind of tell everybody that we try not to stick cameras in front of our kids' faces uh, unless they're kind of warned a little bit. So if I don't get a lot of pictures of the kids, it's out of respect. And, uh, uh, because this is our thing and not theirs. So my daughter's a sweetheart. She probably, but I can guarantee you I'm going to sneak pictures in on the four-year-old. <laughs> so anyway, so it's a Friday. We're driving up. We'll probably get there. Eight o'clock-ish. Yeah, eight o'clock or so. We're just going to relax. Cinder's not with us. She's in the doggy hotel, the fancy one. So hopefully she's having a good time. And uh, so off we go. Bye. So this week in Page, we stayed at the Marriott Courtyard Motel. It was very nice and very comfortable. Our rooms were clean and adequate for what we needed. The next morning, without hesitation, we were attacked by grandkids and our own kids for, I'm hungry, let's eat. So as soon as grandma and grandpa got over the shock of having all those kids in the motel room, we all ate, and then we found out we had 500 pounds of stuff to take to the boat. And thank goodness, we had a production line of grandkids loading up the boat so we could go out and play. It requires a lot of toys. Yeah, it just cracked us up when the little one was running around going, This is awesome! Now that I have complete chaos on the boat, I have three grandkids that want to figure out how to drive the boat with Grandpa. Co-pilot here. This is Kobe. Mm -hmm. And they want to go out on the boat today. So we're getting all the, everything ready to go. Yeah! And of course, we need blow up time for all the toys. Use your oh, wow. Blow, blow, blow. Apparently, we need to get some pumps. This is called learning as we go. Hey, buddy! Grandma's going in. Woo! Woo! Jump in, buddy! Hey, baby. Jump in, I hold your hand. You want to jump or you can... Oh. <laughs> Yay! Good one, Kai! <laughs> hold on! Got a good hug? I fell on the beach! I'm going to the beach! Yay! Go to the beach! Go to the beach! Oh, what's going on here, buddy? Did we spill our uh, cereal a little? Yeah. Yeah? Come here. This is why you, your mom needs to get you a dog. So today we're going to the slot tours. Is that right? Antelope slot tours. Antelope slot tours. And uh, it's a madhouse because it's uh, Labor Day weekend. But uh, um, we're going to yeah, have reservations. We so. do. Have, yeah, we have reservations and we're going to battle it. But uh, it's kind of hard to see everything. But it's very um, deserty out here. And there's billions of people. And so the best thing to have here is patience. Patience. And uh, hopefully be worthwhile seeing. So we have the grandkids with us in another car. So it should be cool. So anyway, uh, it's just gonna go with the attitude as we're tourists and it's a Labor Day weekend and that's how it is. And just to give you an idea, this place is pretty crazy. Lots of people. And we're just getting our cameras ready. Gotta take a bunch of waters in for the kids. And we'll see how it goes. Here is where you get tested for your patience. It was hot, it was the middle of the afternoon, and there was billions of people that all want to go see the Slot Canyon. So, you get in line, you wait, and you wait some more, and you wait even longer, 
and then eventually you start working your way to the slots and entering into the canyon. But man, what a long day. We weren't allowed video cameras in the caverns. However, we were able to sneak a few videos with our cell phones. So please sit back and enjoy. We were fortunate to be able to do a little bit of 360 video. However, that has to be done on a different platform. We did get a lot of still pictures done and at the end of these video clips we'll be doing a collage of all the pictures we were able to get that we thought that would be fun to watch. So once again, sit back and enjoy the Antelope Slot Canyon in Page, Arizona. If you go to Page, Arizona and do the slot tours, there's two of them. There's an the upper one, which is only 600 feet long, which is, I would think, after waiting in the sun for a long time, would be kind of uh, disheartening. But the second one is almost a quarter mile long. Now, you need to expect to be climbing ladders, and if you're a little bit afraid of heights, this is not the place to be. And if you're claustrophobic, uh, this is not the place to be. So the rest of the uh, video you'll see here at the Slot Canyon will be still shots. Once again, we're limited to video. Uh, you will see my grandson uh, walking through the caves holding our 360 camera. So relax, enjoy the Slot Canyons.
This is the last section where you come out of the canyon, and if you're afraid of heights, this part would probably get to you. And you climb, and you climb, and you climb, and you don't realize how deep you really went. But when you get to the top, you come out to a barren landscape, and it's amazing. But then when you get to the top, you also realize, oh my god, I need water. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. So thanks for watching, and there's more to this show. Hang in there. So after the Slot Canyon tours, which took a lot longer than we expected, late in the day we went back to the boat only to find that we had high winds and it wasn't a good idea to go out. So we decided let's do something different. Let's go bowling! So we went back to Page and only to find a bowling alley that must have been two centuries old. <laughs> And we didn't even make it through a whole game with all seven of us until we broke the actual lane. But we all had a blast and of course we ended the evening with ice cream at McDonald's. The following day was the close of our three day weekend and our kids had to drive home but they did go see the Grand Canyon before they did that. And I gotta say that the weekend did not go perfect and things did not go as planned. So what we did was just be spontaneous. And now, because of that, we've got memories of the funniest things that happened to us when we went bowling and when we weren't able to go out on a boat the second day. We just made do and we've got stories to tell. And I gotta tell you that there's nothing like spending a weekend with your kids, but it is exhausting for grandparents. I want to thank my daughter and my wife for all the planning they did on this trip. And it was so worth it. So to Sherry and my daughter Tracy, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to enjoy my grandkids in such a short time <laughs> and, and the chaos. <laughs> I loved it. So I hope those of you that were watching enjoyed our show i hope you enjoyed the canyon it was a long video we know that but what you know it was a three-day weekend what can i say so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like our videos and most of all be safe enjoy guys thank you for watching our videos please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.